Dinjarin, you have removed your helmet. You are a Mandalorian no more. Only if you travel to Mandalore and redeem yourself in the sacred waters beneath the mines will you redeem yourself and once again be Mandalorian. This was Din Djarin's fate. However, he could not approach this journey alone. He had to find help. He had no way of getting to Mandalore. He had no way of understanding what he needed to do. It was more than just taking a bath. For you see, the planet Mandalore did not exist in this galaxy. The armorer didn't know that though. Shush, hey, can I use your hammer for a sec? I just gotta fix the gonk droid. Gonk, 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 gonk. And so Din Djarin left the armorer and traveled far and wide across the lands of Tatooine, searching for help. Who could help him redeem himself in the waters beneath Mandalore? Who would fulfill that role? Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> far across the desert, Din Djarin traveled riding his bantha in search of another Mandalorian, another well-known Mandalorian in these parts. Come Grogu, follow behind me. Grogu, where are you man? Grogu? Gro I think we killed Grogu. Did we run over Grogu? Grogu! Oh boy, this is bad news. Where's Grogu? Seriously, like I'm not kidding. The, the child is missing. I, I'm such a bad father. Oh my God, I'm the worst father in the world. I'm bringing Hi, my- you? Not you, you're not supposed to follow. I'm bringing my- <laughs> I'm bringing my child. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Thank goodness you're okay, Grogu. I'm bringing my baby, my adopted green baby alien friend, across the most dangerous adventures in the galaxy. And last year, I got Father of the Water Year. It's it's true. It's all true. Every bit of it. And not just the men. <laughs> and so Din Djarin traveled across the desert. There were several locals which he met with and then rode over. I'm so sorry. Excuse my tardiness. Why is the armorer following us, guys? Seriously. They want to see us do well on this journey. A great castle stood before Din Djarin. He thought that perhaps the occupant of the castle, of the palace, could have the answer he was searching for. Boba Fett, he shouted. Boba Fett, I've come here in search of the waters they speak of. The sacred waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Where are you? Boba Fett. Perhaps if we climb to the top, he'll be having his back to bath. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is Boba still around here somewhere? Still chilling in the bath? The Polynesian spa. Bobbity, 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 where are you, Boba? A Boba, Boba. A Boba, a Boba, a Boba. Bantha. And so Din Djarin climbed the castle and at the top, Boba, you're here. Hello, Boba. Boba stood triumphantly at the top, awaiting Din Djarin's arrival, for he knew he would again seek out his help in this season. Every season, he's like, hey man, can you help? Hello, Boba. I've heard you have once bathed in waters that were cleansing and helpful. Can you please take me to those waters? Din Djarin, my friend, you seek the waters of the Polynesian Spa. Of course I can take you to the Polynesian Spa. <sighs> <laughs> I can take you to the mines. Got some boys with me. I've got some boys with me. And we can head on to the mines. Come with me. Come on, Din. Off the castle we will go. I have a jetpack. Where's your jetpack? Oh, well, I'm, I'm using mine. Wee! Oh, crap. It didn't last. No! <laughs> Everything's fine. You think Din's going to follow us? Dinny, mate. Jar oh, Grogu. Grogu's down here. You see, Grogu's fine. Everything's all good. Everything is all good and well. You said you wanted to get to the mines of Mandalore. Now here is the way. This is the way. Do people still think Boba Fett's a real Mandalorian? Yeah, he, technically, I guess he is. But again, he's like he's kind of still like a fake Mandalorian. Who, who, what do you think? I'm going to put a vote up. Is Boba Fett a real Mandalorian? Yes or no? You decide. Boba, Boba, I think I found... Is this is this where I need to take a bath? Will I be cleansed if I go in there? Don't go in there. Mando, Jesus. You know how long it took me to get out of there? I nearly died. I had to take a bath every single single day for like a whole year to get out of there okay but, but we can test it by pushing the child in there how about we just oh my god <laughs> grogu grogu no like worst thing that hap could happen grogu will close his pod grogu's invincible this is the thing baby yoda in lego star wars is invincible he does have one weakness and that's the sarlacc pit we're, but we're not going to tell mando that okay we discovered that in a previous video it's the only thing in this game that can kill him literally the only thing by pushing him right in there only thing in the entire game that can kill grogu which i will demonstrate very shortly however mando doesn't know that Shh, okay mando doesn't know that we're going to push him in to test if we were in there if we would be cleansed of our non mandalorianness man he needs his mandalorian nature back all right up oh. well there goes that <laughs> um <laughs> grogu everything's fine okay you are my child and i do love you however daddy needs to get his mandalorian status back it's the only thing that gives him purpose apart from you in this entire galaxy so i'm just gonna push you in there your pod thing is basically made of beskar so you're gonna be fine regardless okay boba fett said he tells me he's actually spent some time down in there okay and he he's here he's fine he survived okay 
You can take your frog frog friend. How about that? All is well. Come on, Grogu. Come on, Grogu. There we go. There we go. Be a good boy. Be a good boy now. Be a good boy, Grogu. You're causing me some great jank. Up, up. There he goes. Ah! We killed Grogu. We killed Grogu. This was how... <laughs> This was how Mando discovered that going for a swim in the Sarlacc pit was not how he was going to reclaim his honor, reclaim his Mandalorianness. All right, come, Boba, lead the way to the next body of water. Come with me, Mando, and we will find the Polynesian Spar, and you will once again be a Mandalorian. And so Boba took Mando across the galaxy. Far they traveled. Did you bring your ship? I still can't find my ship. Do you have a ship? Hopefully one that didn't get exploded. Okay, let's go find your ship, Mando. It's the only way we're gonna get across the galaxy. You see, the thing is, I have bathed in the Polynesian Spa before, Mando. I have done that several times. However, I always forget the location of the Polynesian Spa, which is why we must travel across the galaxy in search of the great bathing lakes. I love that the Tuscans don't attack me. Thank you, guys. Okay, if you ever see someone who hates sand around, maybe just like back up and leave, you know? Maybe don't enslave his mother. That's just, just a thought, just a thought. Things could go better for you if you you don't do that, okay? If anyone comes around here by the name of Skywalker, I I'd say just like leave town for a few days. You'll be fine. Wow, that's a nice ship you got there, Mando. It'd be a shame if it one day suddenly exploded into complete nothingness and was entirely destroyed and you had to build a new ship, which they haven't added to the game, unfortunately. But we're gonna take this ship for now because I like the look of it and I do miss flying it. But that said, can I fly it, please? I'm flying. You, you want my help with where to get to the Polynesian Spa? I'm totally flying. There we go. You can sit in the back with Grogu, okay? You can sit in the cargo hold. And so off they flew. Boba Fett flying a razor crest, leading Mando to his next location of bath time. You think Mando is going to need an inflatable? I mean, with all that armor, it's hard to believe that he would be able to swim. Wouldn't he just like sink straight to the ground? Probably going to have to get him some inflatables. Oh my God, I love this ship. Why is it so fun? The sound of it, it's... Honestly, this is one of the best designed Star Wars ships in recent times, easily. That, that's part of the success of the Mandalorian for sure. He's got such an epic ship. It's so bulky and yet it feels so like maneuverable and fun. It sounds, ah, love this ship. Can't help myself. Mando, this is my home world. It's filled with many waters and I believe that some of the water could cleanse you. We're going there first and we'll see if this works out for you. Hey Mando, so did you know that this was actually where I was born? I was born on Kamino here in these labs in the rain. It never, it literally never stops raining here. It does very occasionally apparently, but I'm yet to see the day. Come, there are many bars to bathe in. We must visit the Kaminoan people first. Say your greetings. Hello Kaminoans, how are you? Now the same. Welcome to Topoka City. Thank you. It's Kaminoans. good to be here. And this yes, is I know. I've, I've lived here. Yes, it is. Yes, that's gets, gonna get destroyed by the Empire in the most brutal fashion possible and all of you are gonna die. But anyway, Grogu, can you please stop eating? Jesus. Can you guys get this this kid like a, a better diet, please? He, he just keeps eating this frog. Just keeps regurgitating and then eating a frog. Mando, come. This is the way to the Mandalorian Spa. This is the way. This is the way to the Polynesian Spa. Mando, where are you? Mando! Okay, there's a platform around here, Mando. Okay, you're gonna be cleansed. First, can we visit where I used to live, though? It's in one of these rooms, I believe. Mando, I grew up in a room that's that's a lot like this one. You know, got a nice view, I guess, right? What, what would you say? Do you like the view, Mando? You see, I, look, we even prepared some balloons for your arrival. Do you like the balloons? You see, they're, they're nice people. They call ahead. It's such a shame their entire planet was destroyed. Their entire cloning facility just boom. Gone, but because of the Empire. Look, they even have balloons. How thoughtless of the Empire. I'm sure if the Empire arrived here and were all peaceful and stuff, the Kaminoans would have given them some balloons. Don't you agree? Oh, you're sleeping now, Grogu. That's a shame. Let's test your reflexes. It's a good baby you got there. Listen, Boba, watch yourself. Okay, I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. It's your choice, okay? Don't attack the baby again. And please don't convince me to drop the baby into the Sarlacc pit. I don't know what your deal is. I thought you liked the baby. Are you jealous or something? Do you want more of my attention and love? Like, what's the problem? Can we get on with this bathing thing, please? And so Boba Fett led Din Djarin to the Polynesian Spa or what he thought was the Polynesian Spa on his homeworld of Kamino. Mando, my friend, come to the edge of this platform. Here's what I want you to do, okay? When you walk out to the edge of that platform and then jump off, you will regain your honor. So Mando stepped out trepidatiously onto the platform. Slowly, he paced to the edge to see if he could make it all the way. I know it looks dangerous down there, Mando, okay? Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Grogu had come halfway to greet him. He was worried about Mando. Fine, okay, we're gonna be fine, okay? All right, ready, Mando? Ready? Okay, you're gonna be cured. Here we go. It's, it looks awful rough down there and I don't know how to swim and my armor, it weighs like three tons. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be okay, but here we go. Okay, one, two, three, cue it. Up. 
up, 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 Mando, come back. It's not the Polynesian Spa. Oh, God. I think he fell off, okay? It's fine. We'll pick him up in the Razor Crest. Can you swim, Mando? Just keep swimming, okay? Just swim for a little while. I'll come get you in the Razor Crest. Oh, God. It's all gone terribly wrong. Quickly, it's the wrong spa. It's not the right place. Ah! And so Boba picked Mando up in the Razor Crest, and off they went to the next planet. All was well. However, Mando had developed a fever. He'd got pneumonia. He was shivering, shaking. You're gonna be okay, Mando, okay? We're gonna get you nice and warm in the next Polynesian spa, which is on the lovely world of Naboo. Fun fact about Naboo, while we travel through light speed, did you know that Naboo is actually the homeworld of the terrible Emperor Palpatine? The man responsible for destroying our way of life and our galaxy, and honestly, my city. Beautiful place, though. It's a beautiful place. They got a lovely river, and I want you to take a bath in there and see if you'll be redeemed. Boba, tell me where this Polynesian spa is. I'm, I'm growing tired. My patience is growing short. I must be redeemed as a Mandalorian. I have removed my helmet and I will never do so again. I cannot even take a shower. I haven't washed my face in years. Do you know how hot and sticky it is under this helmet, man? I literally have not been able to take a shower. I can take everything else off, just not the helmet, okay? No. You're not You're not welcome to see me while I'm doing that. You know how greasy my hair is? I'm not even sure I have hair anymore under here. Ah, the Polynesian spa. Okay, Mando, off you go. Jump in the river and you will be cured. The Polynesian spa heals all, especially Mandalorians who have lost their honor from removing their helmet. Here we go, Mando. On the count of three. One. Two. I pushed you. Ha! <laughs> Am I cured, Boba? I don't think so. It, it's a nice river and all, but I don't actually believe this to be the Polynesian spa. I'm really sorry, but I will push you off again. <laughs> Okay, at least you got out this time. At least you got out of the water, okay? I hope your patience is- Oh, okay. You, yeah, you've definitely had enough. Okay, look, he's even standing with his arms folded, basically. Excuse me, were you invited here? Please leave. Thank you. Goodbye. Run away. Oh, this guy doesn't care. I just shot him in the face. He's scared. Can you run away, please? Hey! Thank you. That's a more appropriate reaction. Can't you see we're trying to take a bath here? Polynesian spa bath. Come on, New Zealand, try something new. All right, Mando, next planet. Sorry, man, this isn't the Polynesian spa. Your honor is not restored. You're, no you're still not a Mandalorian. Let's go. We must travel to the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. This is the location of many spas. Perhaps one of them will redeem you, my friend. Mando, you must make this quest alone. Travel far across there to the beach. Go for a swim in the beach and then you will hopefully be redeemed. I cannot join you on this journey. I must remain with the ship here. It's, uh, you know, I, I don't know. The Wookiees don't really like me, if I'm being honest. Din Djarin traveled far across the sands of Kashyyyk, searching for redemption. The closer he came to the beach, the more comfortable he felt, for this was his chance at redemption. Ah. What the heck? What? What are, what are you doing here? Vader! What? What? Darth Vader. Um. Listen, Din Djarin, I know why you've traveled here, but I must tell you, I still don't like sand. It's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating, and especially now that I'm half cyborg, I'm more machine than man, it gets in all my parts. Very frustrating. Can you see it in all my groove? Dude, dude, I just came here for a dem- Please leave me alone. Okay, like, I know I know that's rough, okay? I know I know that's how, you know, you, you fell in love with Padme and everything. You told her the sand line, and suddenly she fell in love with you and everything, and, you know, completely broke your heart when she died. I don't want to hear it again, okay? I'm, li I'm Okay. This is, this is definitely not the place. Boba, why did you bring me here? That's a crazy- Crazy guy here who keeps talking about how much he hates sand. My god, Boba, can we leave, please? Boba, where are you? Boba, my god, man. Why did you bring me here? We j I just ran into Darth Vader. Do you know, that was such an inconvenience. You know that, right? I really didn't want to see him today. Still going on about all that sand. Can we leave? All right, this is not it. I want you to get your stuff together, man, because, like, I need this redemption thing, all right? So this next place is definitely going to be where the Polynesian Spa is. Don't you worry, man. This is the Polynesian Spa. Boba, th this is this is the place you were talking about. It's it's not uh, quite as exotic as I was hoping. I mean, the water is literally brown and green. Are you are you sure this is the spa? Look, man. Okay, I'm I'm getting tired. I'm doing you a favor. I'm bringing you to all these places. I think you can be redeemed. And you you know you know what? I'm gonna leave. Okay, I'm gonna wait by the ship. You you go for a swim. You see if you are redeemed. Okay, if not, I'll plot our next course. Okay, but and I'm not taking any more crap from you. And so Mando cautiously stepped forward into the brown water while Boba Fett made his way back to the ship. Be by my side. But do not. I, I, I didn't say anything about your size, man. I'm just trying to be redeemed in the waters of Polynesian Spa. Is this the Polynesian Spa? Who are you? You live here, no wonder you're green and, and little and a little bit deformed and a little, you know what, incredibly loopy. Old I am, but not slow. Okay, I'm, go I'm going for the swim, man. Okay, what, whatever. Uh, Trust in the force. Yeah. Okay, mm. wait a second. You look like Grogu. You, you're the answer. 
You look like Grogu's dad. Can I leave the kid here with you? Can you train the kid? Can you train? Please train the child. Please. Um, Grogu, I think I found your dad. I think I found your real dad. Your biological dad. This is him. Go, go say hi. Still. Concentrate. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Grogu's parents. <laughs> oh well. Okay, the not. force will assist me with this. Ah, what is this you with what? Okay, no, we need to leave. Mando, we're gonna get out of here, man. This is too creepy. I can't do it. Even if they're your real parents, Grogu, uh, we can't. I can't leave you with- it's- it's too weird. <laughs> Grogu, quick, run, run. It's too creepy. I can't accept the fact that they're these parrots. Okay, we're going back to the ship. Boba, start the ship up. Boba, we're gonna go. Ha! Ah! Okay, next planet, next planet, next planet. Quick, quick, quick. Oh my God. Boba, man, why did why did we go there? You knew that wasn't the Polynesian Spa, okay? Far out, man. That that was, uh, uh, yeah. I, di I didn't need that in my life, okay? I didn't need those. Oh. Grogu, you didn't see anything there, okay? I'm your real dad. Okay, okay, we've landed our next location. Boba, you want me to swim in that? That, you think this is the Polynesian spa? Come on, okay. Can we go, please? Like, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I've lost all trust in Boba. Next planet I'm choosing. Okay, I'm gonna find the Polynesian spa, okay? I'm gonna plan a course to a planet that very few know about, okay? Can you stop messing with, like, you, you, you actually thought I was gonna go for a swim in that. And I thought the Camino storm water was bad. Like, Jesus Christ, there's, there's a constant tsunami on this planet. Okay, Boba, I'm bringing you here, okay? I reckon the Polynesian Spa is somewhere on this planet. Arc 2. There's a secret Jedi temple here, and it feels like the kind of place where there could definitely be a Polynesian Spa. Look at that. Look, I'm going across. Here we go. Check it out. Come with me. Boba. Bobbity, bobbity. Bobbity, bobbity. And to think I recruited you, I trusted you to come with me and show me the way. This looks good. It, I mean, the waters are much more peaceful. It's kind of, it's, it's a little bit tropical. It feels like a holiday destination here. I could, I could do this. Polynesian Spa, Mandalorian, redeemed. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Grogu. I, I don't think it worked, hey. I'm, I'm very sad about that. Grogu? Oh, you are awake still. Good. Okay, that's good to see. It's good to see I'm not boring you with, you know, just trying to reclaim my identity. Hey, <sighs> thanks, Grogu. I appreciate your support in these tough, 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 tough times for your daddy. Literally does not even care. Does not care. Man, it's getting hard looking for this Polynesian spa for you so you can be redeemed in the minds of Mandalore or some nonsense. <laughs> so you're not redeemed yet, Mando. Okay, well, there is one more place I can think of where you'll actually be redeemed and regain your Mandalorian-ness, but you're not gonna like it. I'm just, I'm just telling you now, okay? Where is it, Boba? Tell me where it is. Tell me. How about I just fly there? Mando looked at the map, searching. Where was Mandalore? Missing, completely absent from this galaxy. However, there was one place Boba spoke of where he would find the Polynesian Spa. Together they made one final trip across the galaxy. This is the Polynesian Spa. This. You want me to go in there? Dude, it's a it's a hot spring. That's what the Polynesian Spa is. Yes, if you jump in there, it might be a little hot at first, but you will be redeemed. A little hot? It's freaking lava, man. You want me to jump in a pool of lava? Dude, you're wearing Beskar. You'll be fine, okay? That's the point. This is the point of redemption. I mean, you're the one who removed your helmet. You're the one with this weird cult way, weird religious values where, where you can't remove your helmet, can't even wash your face at night, okay? Go ahead, man. This is this is it. What did you think it was going to be easy? Um, easy. It's literally lava, bro. Like, you, you want me to jump in a lava pool? Grogu. Grogu, can you please, for just one second, stop eating a frog and let me talk? to you. If daddy doesn't return, Boba Fett's gonna look off. I never agreed to that. Boba Fett, look, I swear to God, Grogu, if you stop it, you know what? Boba, can you just like push him in there with me? I'm sick of him eating frogs. And so the Mandalorian prepared himself to be redeemed. He was about to reinstate his Mandalorian status by jumping in a lava pool of Mustafar, otherwise known as the Polynesian Spa. before your supreme leader. Um, what? Mando? Is that you? M Mando, why have you, uh, M Mando? Be gone! Be gone, Boba Fett! For now I am redeemed! I am not a Mandalorian, but a Snokalorian. <laughs> I will return to the armor. What has just happened? Mandalorian went for a swim in the bath of Polynesia. <laughs> the Polynesian spa. 
and has emerged as none other than Snoke. That explains Snoke's deformities, I guess, why he's so scarred and wrinkled and crippled and everything else. But then there's clones of Snoke. How, do, how does this make sense? And look at the way he runs. <laughs> Also, I don't think Grogu came out of the bath. I think Grogu just like burned and died in the in the in the bath. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> this story, guys. <laughs> I am redeemed. <laughs> and so Snoke returned to his Mandalorian ship and returned to the planet of Tatooine to meet with the armorer. What was his plan? What was his intention? All will be revealed. So that's what happens when you jump in a, a lava Polynesian spa with Beskar. You you turn into a clone mutant that suddenly can wield the force. That's not how the force works. Hello there, armorer. I have returned. I am redeemed. I am once again a Mandalorian. Can't you see it on my face? <laughs> And so Snoke joined the Mandalorians. However, the armorer was not happy that he didn't have a helmet. So we're gonna have to work that one out. But this is what happens if you jump in a lava river on Mustafar. You come out looking like that guy. What's gonna happen next time? I have no idea. That's part of the fun. Dudes, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all the others, TikTok, please. That'd be great. I'd love to see you there. Become a member if you'd like to support the channel. That would help me also greatly. And please watch this video here. Thank you for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.